I want to let you all know right now that there are things about me that you don't know that you're going to find out sooner than later. So basically what I'm trying to do at this moment is do what my lawyer said and get ahead of it. <laughs> I offended someone whose name I should have never brought up. I offended a professional fighter. His name is Canelo. I know, go big or go home. If you are not familiar with who Canelo is, give me a few seconds to explain. Canelo is arguably one of the best fighters in the world. Okay? You cannot miss him. He is, in fact, Mexican, but he does not look traditional. <laughs> Canelo is, in fact, the whitest Mexican on earth. He's super white. He's so white, he's redhead. Canelo is a redheaded white Mexican fighter. He is so white, even Donald Trump was like, you can come. Super white. But then he opens his mouth and you realize, oh, Canelo, he, he's not local. <laughs> so here's how I got in trouble. A comedy friend of mine by the name of Ron White reached out to me. And Ron White invited me to be part of his Tribute to the Troops comedy show for the Nashville Network. And I told Ron, I said, Ron, I'd love to do the show. Anything for the troops, let's do this. So the show taped in Vegas. And it's a couple other comics plus myself. And, and, and Ron White's the host. He brings me up on stage and I figure I'm only doing 10 minutes, okay? I might as well just do references to Las Vegas since everybody knows Vegas. So I started talking about boxing. And then I brought up Canelo. And here's where I got in trouble. I said, Canelo is my favorite fighter of all time. I just wish, and it was all downhill after that. <laughs> I said, I just wish he would not do interviews in English because English is not his strong language. And if you're a professional fight, hear me out. If you're a professional fighter, you need to sound confident, engaged, threatening, aggressive, on point, in your face. And in Spanish, he does. In English, mmm, not so much. In Spanish, he's a killer. In Spanish, the reporter, the announcer comes out. Aquí estamos con Canelo Álvarez, que se va a pelear contra Floyd Money Mayweather este fin de semana en pay-per-view en el MGM Grand en Las Vegas, Nevada. I know some of you heard that right now and you're like, oh my God, I think I understand Spanish. Because <laughs> you do. So then the reporter will look at Canelo and ask him about the fight. Canelo, ¿qué vas a hacer en tu pelea? Canelo takes the microphone. He's a man of few words, but he's on point. He looks at the camera and he's like, pues mira, lo va a pegar así, lo va a pegar así, va a pegar el piso. Shas. Así mero no se lo pierde ese fin de semana en el MGM Gran Las Vegas, Nevada. Canelo Álvarez contra Floyd Money Mayweather. No se lo pierda. Same exact interview. English. I'm standing here alongside Mexican superstar Sal Canelo Álvarez, who's going to be facing Floyd Money Mayweather this weekend on pay-per-view. Canelo, what is your strategy and your plan of attack going into this weekend's fight against such a technical opponent, if you will, a man who has single-handedly redefined the sport of boxing? What is your plan of attack going into the fight? Like this, I'm going to he he like this. He going to fall on the ¿Cómo se dice piso, güey? Floor? He going to fall to the floor and then tan tan así. 
All right, well, there you have it. Floyd Mayweather, I hope you are ready, my friend, because, yeah, that's what's waiting for you. <laughs> Reporting live for ESPN News, I'm Phil Stevens. Back to you in the studio, and we're out. <laughs> the hell was that, goddammit? Why did you warn me?